Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to change the base URL for your app. So this will be a pretty short video, so there's not much to cover here. It's just a configuration value. So I'll spend most of the time motivating it. So when you deploy your app to a server, you will have some kind of URL. So let's say I created a Flask site and I hosted it at prettyprinted.com. The base URL will be prettyprinted.com. So I want everything in my app to refer to prettyprinted.com where necessary. A lot of the links in the app are relative, so the base URL doesn't exactly matter much, but there are some cases where the base URL does matter, and I'll show you one of those cases right now. So one of those cases is when you're using Flask user. So when you're using Flask user, you can have it to where the user can sign up and then they get a confirmation email. That confirmation email needs to have a link back to your server so they can actually confirm who they are. If the base URL isn't correct in that link, then they won't be able to do it. And someone sent me this issue in an email today. That's why I'm making this video. So let me show you what I mean by this. I'm going to start my app up. And I will go to the protected page. I think it's profile and I'll create an account. So the username, let's say Herbert, and then I'll send an email to myself. And I think that's the same password. Don't save. Okay. So I should be getting an email here in just a moment. Okay, so it tells me to confirm my email. So I'm not going to click this link. I'm just going to copy and paste it into Sublime so you can see it. So you see the URL is 127.0.0145000, and then it has the user confirm email and then the token. So that's what I want. And it works well on localhost because I'm doing this on my computer. But if you were to deploy this app to a remote server, depending on how you have it set up, Flask user may not be able to figure out what this base URL should be. So the way you change that and the way you make it explicit is by using the configuration value server name. And this is not unique to Flask user. This is just a Flask configuration value. So server name. And then you can put a domain. You can put an IP address. You can put an IP in a port. In my particular case, I'll use localhost 5000 since it's equivalent to one. 27.0.0.1.5000 and it's the only other URL that I can access. So I'll save that and I'll try to go back to the home page. So right now I can see the home page, but when I refresh, it tells me that it's not found anymore. That's because it's no longer looking at 127.0.0.1. I have to change this now to localhost. And now when I change it to localhost, I can see the information. So when I go to profile, it's going to redirect me to sign in. I'm going to register another user. Let's say pretty printed. I'll use a different email, but same service. And I'll register that. And then it should send me another email here. So I'll delete this one. And here's the second confirmation email. I'll copy and paste this link and compare it to the one initially. So now you see the second link uses localhost port 5000 and everything else is the same. Of course, the token is different because it's unique, but the user confirmed email is the same, but the base URL is different. So if you are ever deploying your app on a remote server and your links are messed up, this is the first thing you want to try. You want to explicitly set the server name in your configuration so the domain or the IP address and the port are all correct. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions on using the server name, uh, just let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. And if you haven't visited prettyprinted.com for the courses I have there, check that out. So that's it, and I will talk to you next time.